are going to do the project called Random Color Palette Generator. Let's see the output. In this project, we will learn about React states and props by generating random colors and displaying them one by one. We'll also explore event handling and how to copy text to the clipboard using JavaScript. This project helps understand state management in React, event handling, and component reusability. Let's get started. First, create a folder and select and drag the folder into your versus code. Then first, open your terminal and run the following command to create a React app using Yarn. First, it sets up a fresh React project with all the necessary files. Then, it installs React and React DOM. These are the core things needed to build a React app. Next, it brings in tools like Webpack and Babel to bundle and compile our code properly. Finally, it organizes everything neatly into folders like SRC for our code and public for static files. And boom! Your React app is ready to go. Now, navigate into the project folder. All right, let's get started. First, run yarn start. That'll start the development server. Now, while that's running, we can start working on app.js. Let's go step by step and get the basics in place. Ready? App.js handles the state and logic for generating colors one by one. What's happening here? We import React and use state because we'll manage state in this component. Copy and paste the bootstrap from Google. This is imported to use bootstrap styling. What's happening here? App is a functional component in React. It serves as the main component that controls the UI and logic. What's inside the return statement? Inside the return statement, we define what appears on the screen. A bootstrap container is used to center everything and ensure a responsive layout. The heading H1 displays the app title so users know what the app is about. Other elements like buttons or color boxes are also placed inside the container. The container helps organize the content neatly and keeps it aligned. Everything inside return is what users see when they open the app. This allows the app component to be used in other files by exporting it. It enables React to render app in index.js or other components where needed. Output only shows the title random color palette generator. Now get into colorbox.js file. Colorbox.js is a child component because it is used inside the app component. A child component means it receives data, props from the parent, app.js. It is responsible for displaying a single color box based on the props it gets. The parent, app.js, manages the state and passes color values to colorbox.js. Here, colorbox is a functional component that takes color as a prop. Inside the return statement, this line creates a div element. It uses bootstrap classes to control the layout and responsiveness. Kernel MD3 makes it take three columns on medium and larger screens. Kernel SM6 
makes it take six columns on small screens for better display. MB3 adds margin bottom to create spacing between elements. Output. Still no color boxes because we haven't added them in AppJS yet. Add basic colors to app.js. Modify app.js to display static colors. What's happening here? App is a functional component. Use state initializes colors with an array of random colors. This div creates a row to arrange color boxes in a structured way. Inside it, the map function loops through the colors array. Each color is passed to the color box component as a prop. The key helps React identify each color box uniquely for better performance. This ensures all color boxes are displayed dynamically on the screen. Output. Now, it shows four fixed color boxes. What's happening here? App is a functional component. Use state initializes colors with an array of random colors.
This button lets users generate new random colors. It uses the Bootstrap class, BTN BTN Primary, to style it with a blue color. The Metricton 3 class adds margin top for spacing above the button. The on click event triggers the refresh colors function when clicked. Refresh colors updates the state with a new set of random colors. When clicked, the screen updates instantly with fresh colors. This makes the app interactive and fun for users. Everything stays neatly inside the div for a clean layout. This defines the app component, where we manage the color state. Use state is used to store and update the colors array dynamically. Generate random colors sets the initial colors when the app loads. Set colors is a function that updates colors when needed. This helps in creating an interactive UI with changing colors. What does this function do? Refresh colors updates the state with a new set of random colors when called. This function generates an array of four random colors. Array dot from a length four creates an array with four empty spaces. Each space is filled using a function that generates a random color. Math dot random asterisk one crore sixty seven lakh seventy seven thousand two hundred and fifteen generates a random number for a color code. Dot two string sixteen converts the number to a hexadecimal color format. Hush rrgbb. Each time this function runs, it returns a new set of random colors. Output. Clicking the button now generates new colors. This function copies the selected color to the clipboard. Navigator.clipboard.writeText color saves the color code. When the function runs, the color can be pasted anywhere. Alert copy dollar color to clipboard shows a message confirming the copy. This makes it easy for users to use the color in other places. The on click is equal to copy to clipboard makes the div clickable. When clicked, it triggers the copy to clipboard function. This function copies the displayed color to the clipboard. Inside the div, a color shows the color code as text. This makes it easy for users to copy and use the color anywhere. Now, let's go into the styling of app.css. Box design, it has a fixed width of 100%, height 150px, and centers text using Flexbox. Text and interaction. The text is white, bold, 1.2 rem, and the cursor turns into a pointer on hover. Smooth appearance, rounded corners, border radius, 8px and a 0.3s transition for smooth effects. Hover effect. The box slightly enlarges, scale, 1.05, on hover, making it more interactive. Final summary. We built a random color palette generator using React. Clicking the button generates new random colors. Clicking a color copies it to the clipboard. We used React hooks, use state, bootstrap, and CSS animations. That's it for today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other React projects you'd like to see next.